Hello friends, let's see your small presentation as an introduction to dendrimers. So we'll discuss about definition, characteristics, structure and example. So this is the definition of dendrimer. The word dendron stands for tree and the word meros stands for parts or segment. So the dendrimer has actually come from tree like structure which is having parts and segment. So from that the word has been originated. So you can define dendrimers as they are a highly branched macromolecular nano sized molecules prepared by polymer synthesis at a very high level of control. So it has usually core interior part and exterior part which can be seen in the diagrams present over here. The characteristics of the dendrimers are new class of polymeric material. They can be considered as a polymeric material and uh, which is of the nano level. They are highly branched, yes of course, in the structure you can see they are having number of branches within them. Monodisperse, they are dispersed throughout radially symmetrically. They are three dimensional, they are globular as uh, we can see many of the voids or cavities are present in the molecules structure. They have a high degree of functionality. The functionality is actually dependent on the number of active sites present over the surface area as well as the uh, space of the cavity present in this molecule. So on the screen you can see an example which is called as ABP dendrimer. Uh, the full name is Azabis phosphonate molecule. In the center there is a molecule on which number of generations has been grown outwards radially symmetrically and ultimately what we structure have got as dendrimers. These dendrimers are actually much useful in the medicinal field especially in the drug delivery system. So this was just an introductory video of dendrimer. For further details, you can uh, Google it and uh, find more of the details about it. Thank you.